or spotted this Benimar Milio 202. This is 45,995 on a 17 plate. And uh, we've looked at these before when they've been at the show. Uh, tend to be sold by Marquis. So we've got one here used at Todd's. So Milio. It's quite a compact van, as you can see. And I want to think when we looked at it before, we were quite uh, surprised. And get the whole van in. We're quite surprised how much you can fit in such a small van. Let's have a look round. Looks like there's a locker under a sofa here. Nice looking door with window in it. Someone's added a lock there. We'll come back to the specs in a minute. Usual Fiat alloy wheels and it's got some wheel nut covers. Electric point. Not sure what that is. No, I'm not gonna force it. Gas locker there. Looks like someone's added LPG refillable as well. A Fiamma awning on the top. And twin bike rack. Rear view camera. Obviously the fridge and the kitchen must be at the back. We've got the vents there. And toilet must be on the side here. Oh, quite a big looking locker here. Let's have a see if I can get in. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, got a spare wheel. Nice to see a spare wheel actually. And some cushions. I'm not sure what else you could fit in there, but I'm sure you could sort that out. There's your fresh water point. Looks like it's Truma heating. So let's have a look inside. Oh, before we do that, just spotted, it's actually got 150 brake horsepower engine. So that's quite nice in a short van. Makes it quite nippy. Yeah. Got some uh, mirror covers. When you see these touches on used vans, you always think, well, someone's like this van, they've added things to it. Quite a reasonable step, not too much. There we go. It's quite a cosy place, this, first impressions. Let's step back a bit. Yeah. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, quite a big table. Obviously rises and falls and presumably you can move it about. Big looking window there with sort of fake curtains, I guess they are. Six speed manual. Typical Fiat cab. It's the uh, more basic radio there. I don't think it's the dab one. Got quite a little bit of shelf space up there. As long as you remember to take it down, take the stuff down when you move off. USB point there. It's got a rear view mirror, but it's absolutely no use at all because the kitchen's at the back. But yeah. Quite a nice lounge. TV, uh, well, you've got a 12 volt and a main socket over there. I was going to say that's a TV point, it's not. Quite a big sofa. Yeah, that's quite good. So there is a bit of lounging space in here, which is unusual really for this sort of continental layout because you can't really lounge in those seats. You'd be better off in the driver's seat. Yeah, what else have we got? 
through my controls and obviously you can spot that this has got a drop down bed yeah electric drop down bed there's your controls there your bed controls are next to it I think these are normally locked aren't they yeah locked I imagine that comes down quite a way because the runners go all the way down so you could probably drop it all the way down to the floor that's good isn't it you've got skylight at the front of the van and you've also got one up here as well yeah that's no, good right, turn around so the kitchen's at the back it's in this L shape area you've got switches there you've got two gas and one electric and a Thetford triplex <laughs> a decent sized sink a big thing about this of course is a mass <laughs> for a small van that's a huge workspace there I'm not sure what that on big on off switch is for uh, I don't try it I've got an open shelf though, it's a bit of a shame because uh, things have to come out of there when you're moving. Nice closable cupboards here. Okay, and it looks like you've got a decent size fridge freezer as well. Wow. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I think we were impressed with these when we looked at them before. A turntable microwave. A name I've never heard of and you've got get it to look and you've got a fan above yeah. yeah it's very good down below got drawers and there. right I'll have a look in the washroom and my battery's about to pack up on the camera. Okay, right, toilet's up on a pedestal. Might not be good for anyone with shorter legs. Nice mirror in here. A very posh looking shower here. This is a beam me up Scotty shower. taped on there for some reason not sure why hanging rail and it's got this circular thing that comes comes around to close it off yeah not bad looking shower I always think yeah when you're looking for a small uh, so quite a step down there as well <laughs> so watch that when you're looking for a smaller van often the washroom is a place that gets compromised but I would say this is a pretty good washroom If you can put up with a shower being on a bit of a thing there. Yeah, no, it's all right. Very good. I do want to know what that switch does though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's my camera. Battery doesn't last very long. Yeah, what we've got here is an auto sleeper symbol an 09 plate 23,965 people are often asking me do I know of any vans below 25,000 well here you are here's something that's a well-known make well-respected make auto sleeper and these were well they still are very popular symbol there's a symbol plus that they do now uh, it's great big obviously opening door here and uh, awning light and you've got an awning on here I think it needs a bit of valeting up there possibly but uh, it is an 09 plate it's got it's obviously been towing stuff so you've got a little tow bar on the back and little steps to climb in which is quite nice looks like it's got reversing sensors on there as well 
mud flaps on the back. Yeah, and alloy wheels. Like I say, I don't think they've cleaned this just yet. Probably only just in, actually. But yeah, it certainly looks well used. It's obviously on the older Persia Boxer cab. But it's obviously being a panel van, much narrower. Don't think they've even got any uh, specs on it. No, no specs. So let's have a look inside. Electric step. Always nice to see that Ford earlier. No electric step at all. The, I think the furniture is very much of its time. Yeah, it was a bit like the uh, furniture we had in the Vista, this sort of creamy colour. And you've got the Boxer cab. Actually got a CD player in there. And it is six speed, so it's not that old. Up above here you've got some storage space. Shelves along here, no actual lockers at the front there, that's interesting. You've got some lights on runners here. I think they obviously had the fire extinguisher there. But yeah, and it's, it's the typical layout of these symbols was that you've got a long sofa here and a travel seat here. Now all of this pulls out into a bed. That is your only bed. So it's strictly really two, two sleeping positions and one extra passenger. So driver, two passengers to birth, if that makes sense. Cab seat swivels, uh, sorry, yeah, that seat swivels, I'm not sure about the other one. Don't think it does, it looks a bit lower. So just turning around, see what we've got in the way of cooking facilities. So we've got a uh, grill and oven there. Got a panel, know which way it goes. Oh, it comes up and you've got, see they were always well specified, you've got electric hob and three gas burner, grill and oven, storage below, quite a good sized sink with a drainer built in. Underneath, more storage again, can't, probably can't show you. Cutlery drawer and the fridge with one of these locks on it. Should probably cut there we go, I managed to do it. Yeah, so reasonable size, reasonable size fridge there. Not bad. That's interesting. Your toilet cassette door is actually on the inside here. So no, never seen that before. I suppose you would reach in and get it out that way. So I look at the washroom. We've got the shower, We've got a shower curtain in here, somewhere to put your soaps and what have you. A hanging rail there, and looking down to the floor, quite a good area there for showering. Two drain holes. It's got a bench type toilet and a drop down sink. cupboard there. So it's perfectly adequately formed you know, for a small van. That's good, it's good. Uh, these were very, well they are very popular vans as I said. Sliding window there. Very well equipped. You've got the sunroof. You've got speakers at the back there. That's quite nice. 
This has got an older uh, electric 12 volt point there, but that's good. Yeah, the auto sleeper symbol. So what I've got here is a new Auto Trail Expedition 67. This is 53,955, so quite a good price these days. It's obviously steel wheels, presumably they will add the trims later. Let's see what you get for your money. Expedition 67. Like I say, it's only just in, so everything's covered in plastic. I've uh, got gas in here, if I can, can I get to that? No, it's got keys on it, so. Yeah, locker there. Yeah, a couple of seats at the back. Presume that makes into the bed area. Quite plain looking wood, but quite bright. So I'll go in this way. That's padded, quite nice padding there. Mines. Yeah, there's a fly screen up there, there it is. You've got USB lights. You've got USB lights? No, you haven't got USB lights, but you have got a USB point up there. Yep. All wood lockers. Wood feels quite nice. It's quite, um, how can I describe it? It's not a polished finish, it's uh, a natural finish. It's quite different. Lights all above. I always think these uh, rear lounge camper vans are quite a nice place to sit. I admire the accessory shop. <laughs> yeah, storage under there. Presumably under there as well. You've got your electrics there. Okay, better go and have a look at the specs first, don't we? I haven't got any, I uh, haven't put the specs out yet, like I say, it's just new in. Uh, not sure where that is, it's like blanks out. Oh, big bright light there, wow. There doesn't appear to be an electric step there, so you will need to provide your own step or get one fitted. So it's quite a step up in there. Pretty conventional sort of layout. You've got two travel seats. These are nicely sculpted, these auto trail seats. Do look like they'd be pretty comfortable. But the new Fiat cab, it's actually got the analog gauges on it rather than the digital display. And uh, which means that you've got the um, manual air conditioning and the Zenit uh, radio there. So, no storage space to speak of above here. Uh, those are just blanking plates. So your lockers start there. I think Auto Trailer missing out on a few tricks there, fitting a few lockers in there. Yeah, they do like their lockers. Right over here, we've got the controls, we've got heater and water control, and you've got the Auto Trail. Uh, controls there, nice and simple. Have got a pull-out flap, camper-style sink, two-burner, two-burner hob, and a mini mini oven there. That's not the smallest I've ever seen, but that's okay. You've got a grill, it's oven grill. Remember, this is comparatively cheap, so you will be missing out a few, a few goodies. But as long as you've got the essentials, 
Oh, essentials probably is a, a shower area. Now that is quite a good shower area, quite a big standing area. And that is a shower curtain type. Unfortunately that is on a raised pedestal but it's uh, not ideal for shorter people. Drop down sink. Oop. Give it a good shove. And there's obviously cupboard. Oh, it's come down again. <laughs> Never mind. And a short a little cupboard there. Okay. But yeah, it's okay. It's good. Quite like that. And fridge we've got here. Keep the door open. It's a Thetford, and I can't really tell. I don't think it's automatic. So uh, probably we'll switch it off. Yeah. In here, in here we've got hanging space, which is quite good. Not a bad little van. Yeah, I think that's it from me at Todd's today. I had a nice little, little look around the used vans. Uh, let me know which ones uh, you fancied. Uh, there is quite a large selection of vans here at the moment. Uh, so, might as well come down and have a look. So, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Appreciate that. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Bye then.